think what we seeing here is an absolute conservation success story where we have through incredible hard work and partnerships uh, achieved what I see as a pinnacle in conservation where you can actually are in a place in a position to look after rhino and everybody knows how vulnerable this species has become and how threatened the species is. They're being poached at a very unsustainable rate um, both species um, at the moment white rhino rates are, are declining very fast. This move that we're doing now is very significant so one for us, it's really nice being able to work with black and white rhinos. But more importantly, it's a, it's a very nice founder population of rhinos that can be moved to a new recipient reserve. We had this incredible opportunity with Exaru that came to Peacebox and they asked us if we are interested to um, look after a rhino population that they were wanted to donate. We did our own feasibility and we said, well, we think actually Zanavi is the perfect place because of its location, because of what we've achieved here from a conservation perspective. So everything is just right. Um, Exaro did their own due diligence and they came back and, and actually they agreed with us. So not only are they donating the rhino, but they're also donating a significant uh, amount of money that helps to protect the rhino in this new habitat. We think that we are able as a business and we have this value really of sharing and making sure that we live up to our purpose as Xaro, which is to empower better lives in Africa and beyond. And for us, we believe that we are saving these rhinos from poaching in South Africa. So they will be even safer, you know, in this park. We know that Zanave is one of the best managed parks in, in Africa. When we decided to move these rhinos, we specifically decided that, that this project must contribute to the bigger conservation picture of rhinos. Um, and and one, of, one of the solutions, one of the counters to rhino poaching, um, and there's a whole suite of them, protection being one, education being another, but one of the biggest solutions, contrib contributors to this solution would be to establish new breeding populations in safe areas where they can breed up to significant numbers basically getting to a point where we outbreed the poaching that is very similar to what dr ian player did in the 60s when there were only a handful of rhinos left in kzn and he distributed these to reserves all over southern africa and actually bred the white rhino very quickly out of out of a threatened state With 25% of your country that has got a protected status means that your country is obviously stands uh, conservation in high importance in their objectives. Mozambique is somehow externally portrayed as a country that's perhaps not serious about conservation, but it's, it's anything but that. They've very cleverly and strategically taken on partners such as Peace Parks and other NGOs to provide their technical and financial capacity, long-term agreements, 20-25 years in the case of, of uh, co-management agreements are signed in the case of Zanav. So there's a long-term plan, long-term collaboration, long-term security both financially and technically to make sure that these parks uh, reach their destination as a, as a fully restored ecosystem uh, that is uh, operationally and, and financially sustainable. dart them from the air, they'll go to sleep and then we'll give them a reversal. We'll do everything we need to do on the rhino in that time. So they'll lie either probably laterally, perhaps on their chests uh, on the ground. We need to be monitoring these animals the whole time. And then there's a number of things we need to do. We need to take DNA tests. There's a, basically a whole data sheet we need of, of information that we need out of this rhino. So as soon as we're comfortable that we have all of that, we'll reverse the rhino and we'll walk it. And it's an amazing process actually because you you partly reverse the effect of the etorphine um, with a partial reversal. The rhino gets up and you literally walk it like you would a horse. You put a blindfold around its head, 
a rope on the front and the back and with a handful of people you walk it towards a big uh, steel crate and um, walk them in and then reverse them, lift the crate onto the truck with a big hydraulic crane. So I mean to be able to do that is phenomenal. When these large megafauna come out of the wild, they come into to literally pens for a number of months to regain some condition, recover from the anaesthetic and the capture process, get onto new food sources. If they're going to a new area that it might be new, new grasses or browse. Ideally, we try to get them on a commercial food, so a loosen, loosen hay or a grass hay. Uh, make sure they're all recovered, fit, strong and healthy to go on to the next part of the, the journey. So the plan is to move the rhinos from Manketi Game Reserve down to the Maputo through the, through the border post uh, into Mozambique where the rhinos will be released for a few days for a hydration stop. Without watering, without hydrating the animals and feeding them again, there's no way they could have survived a 60, 70 hour journey. Then they will be loaded up again and transported all the way north to the middle of Mozambique where Zanaf National Park is situated. Keep it, put it in context, black rhino is a critically endangered species. Uh, in the world there's about 6,000 black rhino left um, and, and of those 6,000 black rhino there's about 2,000 black rhino in South Africa. So you know if you, if you, if you think about it, 6,000 individuals. Uh, if you look at a, at a football stadium uh, that has 50,000 people, that, you know, it will not even fill up one tenth of a, st of a football stadium. All the black rhino left in the world. So it's quite sad. Eh? Um, so it's, it's a critically endangered species. Um, we have to do everything that we can to give them areas where they can be rhino and where they can be safe. And this is ultimately what this is about. The journey has actually gone really well. The rhinos have traveled beautifully. Um, I think our drug regime um, was spot on. The rhinos were really, really quiet for most of the journey. Most of them had a drink of water and some food too on the journey, which uh, I think helped them enormously. So all told, um, an extremely long journey, probably one of the longest translocations of black rhinos ever attempted. Oh, it's just pure excitement when you see them, eh? Um, when they look at you and they come that huffing, puffing, uh, looking closer what's going on. Um, you know, it's probably the first time in 40, 50 years that uh, Black Rhino has, has been in Zanaf again. 
Um, yeah, so it's an incredible feeling to know that we actually at this point that we can bring Black Rhino here and we're confident in that enough that we can actually keep them safe. We have done quite a lot in terms of protection, but also securing the area. And since 2016, with the involvement of Peace Parks Foundation, the recruitment of new rangers, I think over 200 rifles were collected from the poachers, from the community just around uh, the park. And over 30,000 snares, I think, were also um, deactivated from the park. That makes the area also clean uh, for reintroduction of um, iconic species. Also, we have the external situation where we are collaborating with the police, and that, I think, will help us in protection and security also in the area. We've done anything and everything possible to put in place, the, through our years of experience, the mechanisms and the interventions and checks and balances to look after them as best as we possibly can. There is no guarantee that we will keep 100% of the rhinos safe all the time, but that's true for everywhere in the world where you keep rhino. Here definitely is an off national park, is a, is a safer destination for the animals. Um, there's potential to grow, it's a 400,000 hectare park. Um, we are moving them to a specific rhino sanctuary so they don't roam the entire area and they're tracked 24-7. Um, and so uh, there's, a, there's a highly trained team on the ground, there's technology tracking the rhino all the time, uh, there's a helicopter, there's dogs. So we're doing everything in our power to make sure that they're safe. Will they be 100% safe? There's no guarantee. Is it a cal calculated risk? And do we think this imbalances is better for the species as a whole? Absolutely. A protection of biodiversity is an imperative universal que juntos continuaremos a lutar para a manutenção do nosso patrimônio natural, pois só assim as futuras gerações irão usufruir do melhor da natureza, sempre privilegiando os nossos sustentáveis recursos naturais. Having the political will to reintroduce rhinos and all the complications that come with it, um, it's very significant in what showing what Mozambique is prepared to do uh, for conservation. Um, for Zinav National Park, also a massive landmark and, and, uh, and a great opportunity now to, um, to make Zinav National Park as a tourist destination, as a self-sustainable, um, financially viable park for the communities and for the Mozambique people. Obviously with, with PPF on board, I think now that's more, uh, that's more real. É preciso entender-se que os parques têm inúmeras oportunidades uh, para as comunidades. E uh, emprego, formação, os clubes do ambiente uh, e o sustentável uh, dos, dos recursos naturais é parte também da gestão, porque a comunidade é parte do parque. O parque é a comunidade. Então não temos como separar de facto. From all over the world, people will come and see the North National Park because there's rhino. And if they do that, you have an incredible economic uh, development opportunity for the local communities, for the region and for the country and even for you know, the Trans Frontier Park. So there's many reasons from an ecosystem's ecological perspective but all the way right through to species conservation and ultimately stimulating and supporting economic development of local communities living in the landscape and on a national basis for the country.